What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So last video, you guys saw me uh, go pick up the new motor. And uh, I got the Prelude pulled in. If this joint will focus. Focus, focus, Cletus. There we go. I got the Prelude pulled in. Got the plastic laid. I'm gonna show you guys how to swap your motor, man. And uh, I guess at the same time, I'm gonna also show you how to turbo your car. Cause I gotta do that too. But um, yeah, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, oh, what's that? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I got the motor over here, the new motor tucked to the corner. I'll be stripping that down. Um, basically, I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna try to make this. I don't want to make this boring. I want to make an entertaining video. What I'm gonna do, I think, is, is just basically run you through the steps. I may not show you everything, but I'm gonna run you through the steps that that you know, pretty much that requires that that's required to swap your motor or at least remove it all right so first thing I like to do is uh, take the hood off and of course drain the fluids and then uh, get it up off um, at least the front end up on jack stands um, once I start doing that uh, the order and what you go and what you go in is not really it's kind of like a matter of preference um, but a quick breakdown before I get started I'm pretty much going to want to unhook everything with the, in the, the harness. Um, you're going to want to, in my case, I'm, I think one of the first things I'm going to do is, is disassemble the turbo parts. And then uh, take out the axles. Well, the wheels are already off. Take out the axles. Um, disassemble that. And then um, it's actually pretty simple, man. I mean, the more OEM your car is, the harder this is going to be because there's a lot of pieces that my car doesn't have, like power steering pump, um, all types of brackets and all kinds of stuff that pretty much aren't, aren't on there anymore. So for me, it's going to be a lot quicker. Fit my whole hand in that joint. That's tough. That's tough. I like to, you know, on the weekends, I like to play. Um, <laughs> I like to play Tetris. <laughs> oh my God, dude! I have never seen anything like this in my life. You think I can fix it? Let's put some glue and I'll be straight, right? Put some like plastic over this hole. Cali. So that joint was like. This joint, when I popped the hood, was actually laying right here. It's crazy. I guess the rest of it is on the road. That's tough. Let's uh, let's have a moment of silence for this motor. Just a moment. Cause damn. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like uh, during most of the most of the time with these swaps, man, it's all about organization. So um, shout out to my man Kevin. I call him Key. Um, we did some. I did some work for him like a couple years back, and this is the way he did it. And I've been doing it like that ever since. So I actually, anytime I take off a set of bolts, put them in a Ziploc bag, and I label them. That way, pretty much there's no possible way for you to lose the bolts. Just a pro tip. So I like
you can see I got the trans off that will be getting cleaned and it will begin paint as well as the new block so you know what I'm saying I had to transfer a lot of stuff pretty much everything from this motor to the new motor Pretty much the only thing I got left to do is uh, take the oil feed out and literally I got everything off of this motor that I need. I probably will be uh, taking the head off and I may sell it or I may do something with it for a future build. I don't know yet. But the block is definitely toasty. Alright, so it's the next day and uh, I didn't want to bore you guys um, taking a bunch of miscellaneous brackets and stuff off. So I got the oil pan and everything off yesterday, and I mean, this joint, when I took the oil pan off, a lot more motor came with the oil pan. So like, it's like magnificently blown up at this point. Like, that joint is crazy. So I think, now that I can see kind of like the inside of it, I think what happened at the moment that everything went wrong, um, too much pressure, the rod bent, then snapped. Then the rod that was still connected at the snap point was spinning and then smacked everything else and just yeah like I said magnificently destroyed and then there's actually what I found out once I actually pulled the motor is um there's actually a, a hole on the back side too so that thing's destroyed man so pretty much uh, where I'm at now is um I got this motor mounted up on the engine mount and uh, I pretty much gotta almost completely strip this one all the way down and then um, I'm gonna paint it Clean it up, paint it, and then start reassembling once the paint's dry. So, with that being said, I think because of how much footage I've recorded this far, um, I think I am going to make this a two-part video. I don't want to make no 30-minute video for y'all. So, with that being said, uh, make sure y'all tune in to part two. If you like the video, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, smash that like button. And uh, you see that right there? Go ahead and hit that. That's the subscribe button. So you don't miss part two. And I'll see y'all on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.